My name is Martin Court. I farm with my brother. His name's Adrian Court. We rear calves, 130 on a, on a five-week cycle. Ex-dairy farmers, hence we needed to use the buildings. So we used to milk 160 cows, uh, built up rapidly at the end and it didn't fit. The buildings had not enough buildings, etc. So it didn't work. So we sold the cows and decided to go calf rearing. We do 130 on a five-week cycle. We need to get them to uh, 140 kilos at 11 stroke 12 weeks, uh, which we're now doing easily. So health is paramount. Calf pneumonia, on the, on the basis that 130 calves come on in one, in one hit, probably from 100 different farms. So to stop the we do unknown bugs that we don't know what they've got, uh, I vaccinate as they come on, which works a treat. Work closely with our vets, uh, Hook Norton vets. When we started calf rearing, it was sort of very laid back and we were vaccinating them sort of two or three days when we got round to it. Uh, that doesn't work, so we are now rigorously vaccinating them when they arrive. The three week between the first and second dose works absolutely brilliant for us because they're on a four and a half week milk cycle. So they're vaccinated the second vaccine 10 days before they're weaned, which just takes all the stress out. Uh, we cannot for one second afford a loss of five, 10, 15%, certainly not higher. Um, so in, in vaccinating, we're, we're covering ourselves, we're insuring ourselves. We were suffering, like I say, when we had the ad hoc, do it when we got round to it sort of uh, system. We had losses too high, and but now we've streamlined it, and for four months we haven't lost a single calf. So it, yeah, it's a, it's a management tool and it works well. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't uh, stop vaccination. I think it's, it's now proven to be a, an essential part of the, of the uh, protocol.